by YouTube. on YouTube. It's been a while. Oh, I'm back in the land of the living. Back in the land of the internet. <laughs> More to the point. Uh, yeah, we had a uh, bad internet there for a while, so I haven't been able to post anything. So, uh, but uh, I've got a bit to tell you. So, um, light up a bowl and grab a coffee and whatnot. And uh, yeah, come back and sit down and prepare to be bored. Uh, okay, what's been going on? Um, uh, well, as I said, no internet means no Skype, uh, which means I get out the back here a little bit more and I start making stuff. So, uh, some of it I've shown on Instagram, uh, and Facebook, if you follow me there. And, uh, well, for those who haven't, um, you're about to get a little show and tell. Um, I've also got some other big news for you as well, if you haven't been watching Instagram or Facebook. Um, <coughs> at the moment I'm smoking some McClellan's Aurora in a falcon. Love these pipes. A good for the workbench, you just throw them around, it doesn't, doesn't hurt them. Okay, so what have I been doing? Okay, so I've been making Astros, as some of you may know, I've been making backy flaps, I've been making tampers. Uh, there's a tamper that I made, uh, it's got a pick inside him, uh, although I don't think I've gotten, no, I haven't put a pick in this one yet, but uh, they all have a pick in them now. So that one's Mortar, Briar, and Camper Laurel. I think it looks quite good. Anyway, this isn't a uh, looks what's for sale. I'm just showing you what I've been up to. Uh, outside of pipe smoking as well as pipe smoking. So there's that. Um, tobacco pot. Um, that's made out of Jacaranda down here, some silky oak, and some forest oak on either end. So, yeah, it is airtight. So, I uh, haven't got anything in it yet. Uh, the other thing's backy flaps. If you've never been, if you don't know what a backy flap is, uh, a backy flap was a um, something to hold onto your tobacco, put in your uh, suit pocket. Uh, they made them back in the uh, 1930s to the 1960s. They made them out of Bakelite. Um, I now make them out of wood. Uh, they used to have a, a screw together thread, mine are just a press fit. So uh, these are just some of the ones that I've made. I've got a little thumb pull in them now, something new. I'm always improving these things. So uh, you just pop them apart and you put your tobacco in there and they hold, depending on the size of them, anywhere from like half an ounce through to you know an ounce sort of thing. Um, so we got a couple of different ones in woods. Uh, these two are both made out of jacaranda. And before you ask, these are all spoken for. Sorry, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. So, twins. Uh, these both came out of the same lump of wood. Again, polished inside. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, this one is out of Tasmanian oak. Uh, which is an, These are all native to Australia, all these woods. So, uh, again, yeah, you've got the thumb pool. And, so, they'll look nice and pretty. Uh, on average, they take around about five to six hours to make, uh, depending on um, how keen I get with the finish. Uh, yeah. they, I try and do nice finishes on all, on all this sort of stuff. It's no good in having such really nice looking wood without, uh, you know, without actually you know, exploiting its beauty. So, but anyway, um, on the Astros. I mean, doing things like this. Uh, this is uh, camphor laurel. It's one of my favourite woods. If you uh, didn't guess, uh, camphor laurel is unique in that when you machine it, when you sand on it, it smells like camphor. It smells like menthol wafting up your nose. And when it's, it has a, a when you heat it up, um, if you have a sinus issue, you won't after this. It's uh, the most amazing smell you ever. You ever 
smell out of wood. Anyway, uh, that's a, uh, a southern camphor laurel, and that's a northern camphor laurel. So uh, depending on whether they're grown near water or whatnot, will uh, determine you know the, all the colourings and that sort of thing. So uh, there's those, um, and I've got a, a bit of a special one here, and, and uh, it appears that I've knocked over a thousand subscribers. In my two years on YouTube, I've never had a, um, uh, a contest. So, it's time for a giveaway. Um, we are going to be giving away this ashtray. And when you get them, I'll ship them to you like this. That fits in there. And you can either double side tape it or you can um, super glue it down. Uh, all they are is recycled uh, champagne corks. So uh, when it comes time to replace them, they're all pretty much a universal size. If they need a little bit of touching up, you know, to, uh, to to get them in there, well then it's just take a you know a craft knife and some sandpaper and make it fit basically. Uh, so that's why I don't send them out glued down. So uh, this one, uh, this one's kind of a nice one. It's got forest oak on the bottom, camphor laurel in the middle and spalted Mackay Cedar up top. Uh, the Mackay Cedars are hardwood to get a hold of. Um, oops, cool fell out. Um, like I said, you've got to glue it in or <laughs> pour double side of tape it in. The, um, the forest oak is a, um, these are all Australian woods, of course. Uh, it's a hardwood, it's an exceedingly hardwood, so it polishes up quite nice. Um, it's got a fairly heavy weight to it, so it sits on your desk just nice. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'm also going to give away a backy flap. Uh, the wood I'm going to use is yet to be determined. Um, and I'll be giving away a tamper. And for the booby prize, you'll be getting a tube of Vegemite and a packet of Tim Tams. Let's stay with the Aussie theme. So uh, it's open to everyone, all countries, uh, all time zones, uh, even the guys in Australia if you want to get into it. Um, the guys in Australia, if you're uh, if you're interested in getting in on it, then I'll uh, gladly change out the um, the Vegemite and the um, and the Tim Tams for a little bit of backy. Uh, guys overseas can get it much easier than we can, so uh, uh, we'll play it like that. So, okay, um, the uh, conditions of the contest are this. You gotta be subscribed. Gotta be over 18 or over the legal smoking age of your country. Um, oh, what else? Okay, uh, and all you gotta do, very, very simple. I'm in. That's all you gotta put in the box down there. Just put I'm in. That's it. Uh, I'll run this. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's now uh, about three weeks out from. Um, the Chicago Pipe Show. Uh, I will run it until until I arrive in Chicago, and we fly into the uh, in, into Chicago on the twenty fourth, which is a Friday. So, providing I'm feeling human enough and uh, copus mentis, uh, I will um, get another YouTuber, probably my wife. Uh, I oh, know, I'll get someone to help me anyway. It'll be names in a bucket. So it'll, it'll be uh, anybody who enters on in the comments on this video, your names will go into a bucket. There'll be one winner, one vote, one entry, all that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, then that'll be that. So uh, please enter. Go nuts. Um, what else has been happening? Uh, of course, yeah. We're coming to the Chicago Pipe Show. I'm bringing my wife and my kids over. Um, uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, I can't wait for that. I, I'm just giggly as a schoolgirl. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, we uh, had been mad scrambling to get tickets and passports and all that sort of thing. So uh, all that's done now. It's dusted. Uh, we're all organised. Uh, so yeah, it's just no, a matter now of uh, of waiting. Uh, to uh, to fly out. Uh, if uh, and speaking of that, any um, if anybody's uh, well wanting to order something off me, 
Uh, I will not be doing anything until I come back uh, from Chicago and then probably a few weeks after that because we are going to be hunting for a new house down in Brisbane, uh, which is about three hours southeast of us. So um, I'll let you know when the shop's back up and running. Um, as for now, it's uh, it's done. Um, I got one one more item to make, and uh, then that then that'll be it. And uh, so uh, sorry if you were just about to place an order or, or get a hold of me somehow, but uh, unfortunately I do have to put a cutoff point on it somewhere because I've got an absolute mess to clean up here, and I've got to box it all up and all that sort of fun stuff. So uh, anyway. Um, I have rambled on enough, so we've got a where I be. I, hang on a minute, I got a box opening. <laughs> See, I'm out of practice. Um, okay, put this out of the way somewhere. Um, a little while ago, uh, I was watching. Uh, actually, you know what? I saw this guy, this guy's pipes on a video uh, during the Secret Sanders. Uh, a fellow in Germany had one, uh, and I cannot remember this guy's name for the life of me now, but the pipe maker in question is a guy by the name of Dennis Tonti. Uh, that's, you know, T-O-N-T-I. Now, he has a YouTube channel, and I will put a link to his channel in the bucket. Uh, this guy makes pipes uh, old-fashioned way. No lathe, just a, a, a drill, maybe a drill press at most. Uh, the rest of it is all files and rasps and sandpaper, and... Um, just, you know, good old-fashioned, you know, you know, arm grease, you know, just manual labor. And when you see this thing, uh, I've seen pictures of it. I actually haven't seen it in person. Uh, he did send me pictures of, of how he wrapped it up. So, and let me say that this this pipe would have survived a, a nuclear blast. Uh, it was that well packed. So, uh, Dennis, if you're watching, mate, uh, yeah, well done on the packing. Um, so, I haven't actually laid hands on, on this pipe physically yet. So uh, we're going to get into it. All I've done is just take all the sticky tape and everything else like that off it. So here he goes. Uh, I asked him to make me a, uh, a brandy shape and um, um, a hand cut uh, Cumberland stem. Oh, wow. This thing is unreal, Dennis. Better light on it here. That is amazing work, Dennis. That truly is. That is a hand cut Cumberland stem. He has a little moniker there that he puts on there. Uh, a natural bowl. Uh, I like breaking in these bowls personally. Um, personally, uh, I like putting in there myself. <laughs> I don't like bowl coating. It has bird's eye as far as the eye can see underneath here. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And the drawer is so easy. This is. Truly amazing work, Dennis. You have way exceeded my expectations. So, you gotta guys have gotta support handmade pipes. Oh, you can put some pipe cleaners in for me. Thank you, mate. Uh, I'm gonna bring this with me over to Chicago. So, if there's anybody who wants to come and have a look at it, by all means, come up and say good day, and you know, shake hand, shake my hand, and 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 ask to see this pipe. Uh, it's a piece of work, it really is. Uh, you'd swear for all the money that, were, that it had been done on a lathe, but it, I know for a fact that he hasn't got a lathe. He lives in a small apartment in West Berlin, and uh, it, I think he does it out on his front porch or his balcony or something like that. Uh, that's just nuts how good that pipe is. Um, and he's exceptionally well priced too, so... Uh, uh, if you want to get a hold of Dennis, I know it's Dennis Tonti, D-E-N-I-S, Tonti at yahoo.com. Uh, so I'll put all these links and whatnot in the bucket down here. Uh, 
but for now I've dribbled on way too far and for way too long. Uh, so um, if I've got anything else to say in between now and Chicago, I'll say it. But otherwise, I can't wait to see you guys in in, uh, in Chicago in a few weeks' time. I think it's like 22 days until I fly out. So uh, yeah, good times. It's going to be epic. Uh, with some of the folks that I know that are going, um, yeah, it's going to be good times. So if you can make it at all to Chicago, uh, by all means do. Um, if you see me, come up and say hello, introduce yourself. Um, you know, YouTube or Instagram handle first, then you know. <laughs> uh, I'll have, as I said, I'll have my wife and kids with me. Uh, if you. Uh, uh, got wives that you want to palm off and, and, and you know you know give yourself some free time we'll hook the wives up and we'll send them on their way um, my wife's gonna kill me when she hears that one <laughs> sorry let's <coughs> <coughs> see <coughs> I just paid for it <laughs> anyway guys take it easy see you there